Receiving incoming transmission. This is Idaho calling. Uh, community, we now have uh, RS21862 um, and RS21872 and, and Senator Winder. Um, if you want to present those, uh, you can go ahead right from there. If you prefer, you can take them to either order. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll just go as the agenda shows here, beginning with uh, 21862. Uh, just a brief background. Uh, this issue was brought to me by the Idaho Association of Cities, and uh, obviously there are lots of issues going on around uh, states of Washington, Oregon, Colorado, uh, as regarding uh, the legalization of marijuana. And this was an effort on behalf of the Association of Idaho Cities to uh, to make a statement. It's, some people think it's a change in the law. It's not really a change in the law. It's a statement uh, opposing it. Uh, and uh, that's the purpose of the RS-21862. Uh, the next one, which is 21872, is just a joint memorial uh, that gets sent on to the president of the federal government, the congressional delegation in Congress, asking them to uh, enforce federal laws. And as you know, uh, there's some uh, conflict uh, going on across the country with uh, states supposedly legalizing on a state level marijuana but not uh, allowed under the federal law and so it's an effort on behalf of the cities to say please uh, help us and enforce the uh, the federal law. I'd be glad to answer any questions and this is a request from Fran on both of these. Thank you and Senator um, would it be the rec if we print these would you would it be requested to have these come back to committee or go directly to the floor? And the reason I asked is there's a few that have signed up to testify, um, both some in support, some against. Um, if if it wasn't going to come back, I would I'd probably defer to some sh to to allow them to to address it. Um, and that's you know, typically they don't come back, so I don't know if you would. Recommend. If you have a preference. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I don't have any objection to it coming back if that's the will of the committee. Um, there's some, um, you know, I'd defer to the committee. We could um, take the testimony of the people that are here today and, and proceed it as we normally do. Um, or we could bring it back at the Mr. Chairman, just a comment, I guess. Uh, uh, the, the, I should have thought out my comment before I took the microphone. <laughs> I, I, if there are that many people that have an interest in testifying and there's feelings both for and against, uh, I might recommend that we have it come back to committee because there's, there may be other people out there that have a feeling that, that didn't know that there was an RS here because it really isn't uh, you know, publicized that way. So from that standpoint, I might suggest to the chairman that we do have it come back for, for that purpose. Thank you. I've got some nods that look like that might be the uh, the preference of the committee to have to, to have uh, them come back so we can take uh, testimony uh, following a print hearing. And so, um, with that, I think um, it looks like we've got about. There are eight or nine that have signed up with interest in this. Um, I think if, if we're going to bring it back to committee, I think I will have basically a full hearing and allow um, people to come back and testify. Uh, otherwise, I, I follow our typical practice at a print hearing, which is um, if, if there are those here, we could. Uh, if we have questions from the committee members, we'd address the audience, but otherwise um, we typically just uh, just uh, have the presenter present for print, and then the committee would make a determination based on that. Uh, so committee, um, with that, we've got uh, the two RSs. Um, uh, if you have questions for audience members, there, there are people you know, with interest on the both sides of this. Senator Fulcher. Mr. Chairman, I don't know if you need to form a formal motion or not, but I'll, based on where I think the committee is, I'll just make that motion. I move that we print RS-21862 and RS-21872 with the intent of those coming to committee for a full hearing. Okay, 
motion by Senator Fulcher, second by Senator Sidaway to print um, the intent that they would come back for, for hearing before the committee. Uh, is there a discussion? Then all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, nay? Uh, the ayes have it. Uh, now, committee, before we go on, I'm going to turn the gavel over to uh, Senator Lodge, who's uh, I don't know if we officially have a vice chairman, but uh, the chairman of our judiciary rules to uh, to have the gavel I present. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. We now have before us RS 21900C1, Senator McKenzie. Thank you, Senator Senator uh, well, Chairman and, and committee. Uh, this is something you've seen before over the last uh, two years. Uh, what this this is this is uh, relates to an Article 5 convention. Uh, it's not calling for a convention, but what this language would do is uh, have a procedure in place to select delegates if one was called. Um, this is something uh, that uh, this committee had supported before, but then it, it uh, didn't get out of the floor. Um, the prior year it got out of the Senate and died in the House. Um, so right now I would ask to print it. I don't really have an intent to bring it back before the committee.